prosperity and blessings to you all. I'm sitting out here in Brandywine, waiting on a client to show up for some showings this morning. And I was sitting here thinking about a conversation that I had with one of my beloved former clients about why I got into the business. And as we begin to chat and I begin to tell her my story, which I'll share with you shortly, it just brought tears to my eyes. So if I can be candid today, I want to talk to you about manifestations. Years ago, um, God had placed in my spirit about home ownership, helping people get into um, investment properties. And what I wanted to do was, or what was in my spirit, was to build a subdivision for single moms. And it's amazing how life works sometimes. I was not a single mom at the time, but I knew that single moms needed support. They needed resources. And, you know, they just sometimes just need someone to hold their hand and cheer them on. Unbeknownst to me, I ultimately became a single mom. And I thought a bit more about getting into the business as far as an investment standpoint. Um, doors were closed. I was told, no, you have to get your license. Um, so as I continued to grow as a person and to continue to grow as an agent, I put in the back of my mind that the subdivision was going to happen some way, shape, or form. And... Um, as I was talking to my client, she made me realize that the subdivision has already happened. What I thought God wanted me to do was get this piece of land, put together several homes so women could have a place of refuge for each other. And about 95% of my business comes from single moms. And at some point, I purchased a home. I'm currently about to purchase my second home. So I say all that to say, I got in a business to help people. For those who have been told no, for those who said, well, you have too many children, there's no way, it's not possible, you can't, you can't, you can't. I'm a living testimony of what God has manifested in my life. I have been told no, and still, I rise. So, as I continue to build my subdivision, which is fairly large between Virginia and Maryland, I just want to encourage you today, if you're out here listening, continue on that path, continue on that journey, because your no is not forever. It's just not now. Your dream that deposit that God made in you will and shall manifest because his word does not come to you void. So I say all of this to say that I too understand your struggle. I too, as a single mom, purchased my very first home and I too can help you overcome those challenges 